Nali Niji, and you give seminars on Tantra and Tantra meditations. What is Tantra? Tantra means expansion and liberation of the consciousness. And Tantra also, the simplest meaning of Tantra is a manual. The Sanskrit word for that, uh, Sanskrit meaning is a manual, a book. So we can call anything which is in detail a Tantra. However, there has been a lot of misunderstanding in the meaning of Tantra. It is associated with sexuality and therefore there is a misunderstanding. When we speak about Tantra, we are talking about the duality in the God, that is the left side is considered the female aspect and the right side is the male aspect. And the gods have both sides to them. And then there has been a distortion where we say the left side, the left-handed Tantra is the Tantra which is working with spells and orgies. However, there are, in Tantra, we have the Brahmins who, who perform the pujas and these pujas, all the pujas that are practiced <clears throat> and which are mentioned in the Puranas and the other books are after the Vedas. And when we started the worship of Shiv and Parvati, Lakshmi and Vishnu, of Saraswati and the other gods, this was called Tantra, the Tantric Pujas. And when the Brahmins worshipped, they worshipped in a very different way. And this was being completely vegetarian and, uh, and not using any, anything which was violent. Whereas we have the other Tantra which was practiced by the Rajputs and the Kshatriyas and this Tantra was where in some of the practices they offered alcohol to the gods and meat. However, this was not done in a vast amount. It was only done for specific prayers. So this is something we have to keep in mind that at the same time in the royal houses when they practiced these pujas which were done to win a battle, the Brahmins were also worshipping but they were doing a tantra which was very pure and which did not involve any kind of alcohol or use, usage of meat.